Here's something I discovered in the recent Dumpster Fire tournament. See this bloaty boy running away from the elven mage. It's a reasonable move since you don't want your powerful explosion to be triggered worthlessly by a single entity. But soon this attempt will be proven to be worthless as well since the bloated corpse will still explode without any enemies surrounding him. Or perhaps this battlefield isn't as empty as we thought. That's right, the artillery is right there. So how and why did this happen? Let's do a quick recap in slow-mo with the unit card as a reference. As you can see on the unit card on the left, the bloated corpse self-destruction ability is called the gaseous demise. It has a 1 second cooldown and the cooldown will start ticking once the bloated corpse goes into melee contact. So after that 1 second, the bloated corpse will blow up. The thing is, this so called melee contact doesn't need the bloated corpse to go into melee engagement, actively fighting any units. Instead, as long as the bloated corpse is close enough to an enemy model, it will be considered in melee combat. And guess what? Artillery pieces are also enemy models. As a result, bloated corpses that hang around these unmanned and seemingly harmless artillery pieces for too long will unexpectedly blow up. While Vampire Coast players now have to pay more attention on the battlefield to avoid any abandoned artillery, other players can try luring these bloaty boys into any abandoned routed artillery models, using them to trigger premature explosions. Of course, bloated corpses are never meta units and are rarely picked in battles. Still, I think this is a rather neat piece of information to share.